This episode is brought to you by More Run, More Fun's group runner service available on the More Fun app today. Currently only available in Sabah. Hello, I'm Antia Peter, reporting this week's news highlights for the Daily Express. Sabah on Saturday became the fifth state in Malaysia to recognize the Unified Examination Certificate. Chief Minister Datuk Seri Muhammad Shafi Abdal said the decision was made by the state government as part of measures to assist Sabahan youths. He said the state cabinet has decided to recognize UEC with certain conditions. This recognition will not only enable UEC holders to enroll into public higher learning institutions in Sabah, but will also enable them to enter the state's public service. In Sabah, he said, there are nine schools or institutions of learning that offer the UEC involving 1,153 students at junior level and 583 at the senior level. They sit for two examinations. The state government will soon have its own cashless payment system known as e-wallet Sabah Pay. Chief Minister Datuk Seri Muhammad Shafi Abdal said the Sabah Credit Corporation has been given the mandate to create the system and he hopes that it will be implemented by this year. He said the system is important not only to the government and public service agencies but also areas that do not have a banking system. He added that the service system can also be used by tourists who come to Sabah. The process of due diligence in the acquisition of Sabah Electricity Sundaran Berhad by the state government is expected to be completed by this year, said its managing director, Abdul Nasser Abdul Wahid. He said it is normal for the takeover process of a big company like SESB to take a long time as it needs a thorough study. He added that we have to wait for the result of the due diligence process and it will be left to the state government to make an official announcement. Sometimes we may feel beaten down in life, but the story of this OKU Malaysian is sure to remind us to be grateful. 32-year-old Muhammad Helmi Firdaus had to become the breadwinner of his family at a very young age. He is wheelchair-bound due to a health condition. But despite his condition, Helmi still works as a toilet cleaner in Puchong Pedana. He pushes his wheelchair a good 4 kilometers to the LRT station for work every morning. On his commute, he picks up tin cans and scrap metal that can be sold. He earns about 600 ringgit to 850 ringgit a month and gives the money to his mother for the family's necessities. When the going gets tough, he would only eat one meal a day or only drink water. Due to his mother's monthly treatments at the hospital, he has to work harder to afford it. His mother said that Helmi never once complained and doesn't hope for sympathy from the public. That's all for this week's news highlights. I'm Antia Peter. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more news from the Daily Express.